Good afternoon, everybody. Mark Wandersee, Assistant Chief with Elk River Fire. Welcome back to segment two of Fire Trucks 101. Last time we talked to you about what an engine's role was on the fire ground. Today we're going to talk to you about what a, a water tender uh, does for the fire ground. This is tender one stationed out of here out of station one. Uh, we've got tender two as well as uh, brand new tender three coming in as soon as it finishes production. What these are is a support element for our fire engines. So anytime that we go into a fire emergency that does not have hydrants, this is our portable fire hydrant for the lack of uh, better words. Uh, tender one is a 3000 gallon tender. On board here and the inside of all this uh, sheet metal is uh, a giant polyurethane tank that holds 3000 gallons of water that we can bring. If you think about that, that's the equivalency of three of our fire engines. Each one of those comes out with a thousand gallons of water. This one comes out with 3,000 gallons. And when we get to the other side, we'll show you the swimming pool that we put all that water into for the engines to be able to siphon that water up and be able to use. Uh, in here are all the connections that we need to be able to uh, fill up at a fire hydrant itself. Uh, this piece of equipment goes on, attaches to the fire hydrant, and instead of having to turn off the fire hydrant every time that we do it, we're able to just open and close this valve, seal that off, because any time that we're running tender operations, there's going to be multiple tenders based on how far we are from the, the fire to the nearest hydrant. There's different size hoses to be able to connect to the fire hydrant in this cabinet, and really that's all that we've got on this side of this rig for you. As we get to the back, we've got three different discharges on this. All of them are electronic valve opening. Uh, we've got the, the left side chute, the rear chute, and then a right side chute that we can show you in a minute. Uh, we've got the capability to hook this directly up to the rear end tank, uh, direct filled right into uh, our 3,000 gallons of onboard water so that we can fill up rapidly and get back to the fire scene as quick as we can. Just like on our engines, we've got our trash line here. The one kind of unique thing about tenders is we can use these in lieu of a uh, fire engine on smaller scenes, car fires, things like that. And you'll see on the, on the side when we get over there the fire hose that we do bring with us. But again, this is primarily used for us to put out small trash fires, grass fires, and then really do that bulk decontamination that we talked about uh, the last time when we talked about the engines. On the side here, is our drop down tank. This is usually stored in the upright position. When we pull up to the fire, we're gonna drop this down so that two to three firefighters can lift this off, deploy it, and then we'd be able to uh, have it in line with one of the chutes to rapidly fill that. Uh, the nice thing about these is uh, whenever these tenders are designed, the pool that you get on the side, or what we call a drop tank, is the exact same size as the maximum capacity of the tender itself. Tender 2, for example, is a 2,000 gallon, so we have a 2,000 gallon tank on the side of that, where this is 3,000 gallons, uh, so we have that 3,000 tank. Uh, very dangerous to actually drive these when they are either not all the way full or not all the way empty. The baffles in there keep the water from shifting, so we wouldn't want this to leave scene with only a thousand gallons of water in it. We'd want to empty that before we actually pull out. On the side here, we do have the fire hose that we can use in case this has to be uh, used as a fire suppression unit. The same exact inch and three quarter lines that we have on our engines same two and a half inch line that we have on our engines. The approximate time to empty the 3,000 gallons is about a minute, uh, depending upon gravity, angle, everything like that. Sometimes it can be faster, sometimes it can be slower. And then the other question that we get is how quickly can we fill it? And realistically, we can fill this in about the same amount of time or less than what it actually takes to empty it. So off of most of the hydrants in town, we can fill this in under a minute. I'd like to thank you all for watching and joining us here on Fire Trucks 101, and we'll see you on the next video.